What's going on guys, Arrow here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys more about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 as this is actually a game that a lot of people may have not known but has been discussed about ever since last year because last year during the summer there was a rumor or leak that came out talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and it was because of that article that a lot of people have started predicting for Xenoblade 3 inside of like big Nintendo reveals and Nintendo Directs and things like that. So I figured it would be kind of cool if we actually take a look back at this article and see what it kind of talked about with this game and how much of it actually turned out to be true with what we got in the first trailer for Xenoblade 3 and potentially even some more information about what we could expect from this game. Alright, so let's take a look at this article right here. It comes to us from this website, Fanbyte, and if we scroll down here, it says, Xenoblade voice actress implies a new game is in the works, which is true. A Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is currently in the works and could be revealed soon. And if we take a look at the date that this article came out, it was August 9th of 2021, so a little over half a year ago was when this article came out in summer of last year, and that's pretty much when everybody started talking about the possibility of a Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And of course with rumors, they can obviously just turn out to be fake and completely like misleading information, but of course in this case it did turn out to be true as we did get Xenoblade 3 revealed in the big Nintendo Direct that happened in February of this year, so it's actually kind of interesting, but I think it would be cool to take a look at this article once again and kind of see the information about this game and what turned out to be true and potentially what else we could expect. So it says here, in June of this year, a Xenoblade fan had a particularly significant interview with actress Jenna Coleman. Coleman, who is primarily known for her roles as Clara Oswald on the TV institution Doctor Who and Jasmine Thomas in the soap opera Emmerdale, was also Melia in the first Xenoblade Chronicles over a decade ago. She appeared in a video chat with the YouTube channel Din's Meteorite, a smaller gaming channel with around 33 subscribers, to talk about several subjects including her time spent on Xenoblade Chronicles and the recent expanded Switch remaster, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. While the interview was published two months ago, it only recently caught the notice of social media in large part because of an accidental slip of the tongue from Coleman. Musing about her first role in Xenoblade Chronicles, Coleman said, God, when was the first game? 10 years ago? It was a long time ago. I did it pre-Doctor Who days, and when they did the second one, they asked me to come back. And I think they're going to do another. Coleman paused. Common knowledge? Don't know. Yeah, I think they're going to do another. Not sure if I'm allowed to say that. Coleman's quote has caused rumors to stir over the weekend of a new Xenoblade Chronicles currently in development. According to our sources here, we can indeed confirm that to be the case. Moreover, the game is nearing its final stages of development, but its release date may be held back for any number of reasons. So here's where I think the first thing is actually kind of crazy. So really the whole entire idea of Xenoblade 3 even came out just because Melia's voice actress accidentally said, I think they're going to do another, not sure if I'm allowed to say that. And of course this is absolutely true because in the first trailer that we got for Xenoblade 3, they show us this character which is very, very likely going to end up being Melia. So it would make sense why Jenna Coleman would know about that if, that, if there was going to be a Xenoblade 3 because she probably already recorded the lines for Melia inside of Xenoblade 3 a while ago. So it makes a ton of sense. Now also it says here in the article the game is nearing its final stages of development. This is also true when the game was revealed we actually got to see that there was already English uh, voices inside of the first trailer. We already got to see that there was actually some really good looking cutscenes and stuff like the game definitely looks like it's already kind of very close to being able to come out so it makes a lot of sense even if we take a look at these screenshots right here like Compared the screenshots that we got from Xenoblade 3's first trailer to the first trailer that we got for Xenoblade 2, you can see that Xenoblade 3 looks much further along in development, it definitely looks like it's very close to being complete, and even in the article that we kind of got from the Xenoblade director at Monolith Soft, uh, Mr. Tetsuya Takahashi has said that we're nearing like, the, we're putting like the finishing touches on the game, so yeah, the game is definitely very close to its release, so that definitely did turn out to be true. And then in the article it says here, its release date may be held back for any number of reasons, that looks like it may have potentially been true as well. I mean, I think later in the article it talks about that there was like other reasons for why that could be the case and it does kind of feel like that, especially with how this game is coming out in September of this year. Like, I don't know, to me September just doesn't feel like it would be the time to release a Xenoblade game. I feel like it's either very early in, in the year, like how we had the original Xenoblade I think came out in like June, Xenoblade Definitive Edition came out in May, or it's either at the very end of the year where Xenoblade X comes out I think in like December and then Xenoblade 2 also came out in December, so having Xenoblade 3 be in September definitely feels a bit weird, and I do feel like it's because of what they mentioned with kind of like the problems during its development that that's why it ended up coming out during that time. 
Then it says here, the third Xenoblade Chronicles game is in development at Monolith Soft and is a sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, currently the best selling game in the series. The ending of the trilogy, so this is actually kind of crazy because it's implying that this game is going to be the end to like kind of the story and I do want to make a video about that talking about like if this game could actually be like the last Xenoblade game if there's going to be potentially more of it and I, I think that there's actually a lot of cool ways that they could go about it so I'll make a video about that in the future but it is kind of crazy how they're mentioning it here as like the ending of the trilogy. And it says here, takes place in the far-flung future with a few returning characters who have long outlived their human counterparts from both Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And this is of course 100% spot on. If we take a look at the tweet officially from Nintendo, it says here tying together the futures depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So absolutely it is in the far flung future that takes place combining both of those games together. And then it also mentions a few returning characters who have long outlived their human counterparts. And yeah, in the first trailer we get to see these two characters who are very very kind of teased at being Melia from Xenoblade Chronicles and Nia from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I'm also 100% sure that there's going to be even more characters from Xenoblade 1 and 2 that would make sense to still return inside of Xenoblade 3, like there's no way that Pyra and Mithra aren't going to be in this game, other characters as well, so I'll talk about that more in kind of the story video for this game and kind of what direction I think the story might go, but yeah, I definitely don't think that Melia and Nia are the only characters from Xenoblade 1 and 2 that are going to be in this game, so that of course did turn out to be true as well. And it says here, uh, this is why Coleman who plays Melia would be aware of the third game as her character is returning and she more than likely has already recorded voice acting for it. 100% spot on as well. We saw Melia basically in the trailer so it definitely makes a lot of sense why Jenna Coleman would know about that. Then it says here, according to our sources, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was set to be revealed earlier this year and may still be announced before the end of the calendar year, but has had a difficult time with pandemic development and optimizing the game for the Switch. So this is where it makes a lot of sense why the game is coming out in September. It looks like that this game, I mean, definitely kind of what we've seen from like the, the images and things, this game is much further along in development. So maybe it was possible that this game could have been in our hands even last year and they were planning for this game to come out in 2021, but because of of the optimization and the pandemic and stuff like that, they kind of pushed it back to September of this year. And then it says here, the game is aiming for more character models on screen at once than any previous title accounting for both playable characters and enemies. This of course also makes a ton of sense because if you guys saw the first trailer for Xenoblade 3, it shows off so many characters. It's actually kind of insane how many characters they decided to reveal right in the first trailer itself. And I thought that that was actually kind of insane because if we're not counting Xenoblade X, because I know Xenoblade X has a ton of playable characters, Xenoblade 1 is the game that has the most playable characters in in terms of the options, there are seven playable characters that are alongside you inside of your adventure in Xenoblade Chronicles 1, whereas you only have five playable characters inside of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And the first trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 already shows off six playable characters. That's kind of insane, and I'm sure there's still going to be even more secret characters and playable characters that they haven't shown off yet, so potentially there could still even be like three or four more hidden characters that are still going to be playable in Xenoblade 3, and so the fact that we could potentially have like ten playable characters in this game is just insane and having all 10 of those characters appear inside of cutscenes and crazy choreography and stuff it just makes me very excited to see what that game could look like. And then the last thing that it just says here is this shouldn't come as a galloping shock as Xenoblade Chronicle Definitive Edition's expanded content was titled Future Connected indicating that Monolith Soft was looking forward to the future of the series. If all goes well the game could be released as soon as the first half of next year delayed from its original now exceedingly unlikely winter 2021 target date. As always things can change and no in development game should be considered as a guarantee to be exactly the same as described or even see release. And so yeah I mean obviously right here they're talking about Future Connected, and even in like the articles and interviews, uh, Mr. Takahashi has talked about that the Future Connected like epilogue basically connects right to the future of Xenoblade 3, and I'm sure it's going to have a big part with kind of the stuff that happens in that game, so that'll be exciting to see how that kind of does connect to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. But yeah, either way, I mean, it's kind of crazy because a lot of this stuff basically kind of turned out to be word for word accurate with exactly what we got for Xenoblade 3. And it's actually kind of cool because there is some stuff that we did kind of learn here about what the actual game could end up being like, like how they're talking about how this is going to be potentially the end to the trilogy, how it's going to have a ton of character models on screen at the same time. Learning all of this stuff does make me very excited for this game.
And so yeah, there you go guys, that is the article that came out last year talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and it is kind of crazy looking back at this and seeing exactly how much of it did turn out to be true, so going by this, it actually makes me even more excited now because it's looking like this article was exactly spot on for what this game could be like, so now I'm just very looking forward to that next trailer for Xenoblade 3 and potentially what this game could be like. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this, how do you guys feel about this, looking at this article now and potentially about what Xenoblade 3 could be like, definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Xenoblade content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.